Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're playing Looking Darkness. So, basically, deep in the woods looks danger, and four friends will soon find out what the Greenlock Woods have in store for them on their overnight camping trip. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. September 14th, 1990. Four friends would enter the Greenlock Woods for an overnight camping trip. Two days later, they were reported missing. A search party was quickly put together. As part of this party, your goal is to find any survivors within the woods. Or what's left of them. Alright, looks like I don't have a whole lot of time before it gets dark. With some luck, maybe I can find their campsite and go from there. Oh, that is... I turned the sensitivity up a bit. But, um... What am I doing? This is the wrong way. So there is no leaving. Good to know. Uh, cool. I get a flashlight. Uh, it's not the best, but I take what you can get, you know. Oh no way! I can actually get. All right, let's stay on the trail for now. It's early in the morning right now, and we might just have seen. Oh, might be in some trouble after barely even one night. We heard something outside our tents last night. Maybe a bear or something? Whatever the case, they went away after around 10 minutes. Oh, uh, Andy. For some reason though, Danny was super freaked out and he really wanted to get out of here. Stu fought with him over leaving because it took us months to organize this camping trip. And Danny eventually calmed down. But when we woke, up this morning and Danny was gone. So is our truck. We're miles from the village, but luckily there are parking ranger park rangers around here. So we'll go looking for them soon. Alex also overpacked. So we have a ton of supplies. I mean who needs two axes? I will keep a lookout for notes. But I don't think Danny was necessarily wrong for overreacting. Like, if we're being realistic. Oh, is that the... Oh my god, that... It's a big loop. If we're being realistic, a bear is super dangerous. So, I mean... I don't blame anyone for being freaked out. But, to be fair, it was kind of a dick move to, you know, take the fucking truck. The hole in the fence has been barricaded. Maybe I can find something to help get these logs out of the way. Yeah, but the question is where? Oh, hey, I found the tents, I think. The campsite? It's been deserted. Why would they leave? Hmm, maybe they're further down the trail. At least I hope. It's sundown at this point, and it's just Stu and I left. We managed to barricade the hole in the chain link fence with some fallen logs, but I don't think it matters. 
Alex took off towards the cries we've heard in the distance on the other side of the woods with one of our axes. He said he was going to find someone and get us out of here. It's been nearly three hours and we haven't seen him since. We've only heard his screams. All we have to defend ourselves is an axe, but the voices move too fast to even know which direction to swing at. We've decided to lock up the axe in the lockbox we brought. We know we're not going to be able to fight back at all. We hid it in hopes that it won't find it and make anyone else suffer, even more than we have. We don't have much time left before it gets dark and starts searching for us. We just have to hope that we'll never be seen again. Oh, we just have to accept that we'll never be seen again. Well, that's fucking dark. Um, okay. But wouldn't the creature already have an axe, though? Oh, oh, capitals. Um, D? Oh, A? D-A-R... K. Oh, dark. Oh, that's clever. Okay, let's see. D-A... Um, R, K. Oh, that's really clever as a puzzle. You do see that occasionally, but I didn't even think of it until I seen the, um, uh, what do you call it? The padlock? Oh. Oh, I don't like how it says that we're defenseless. That's unsettling. It was a bloodbath. It came back to the campsite and tore Stew apart. And I just ran and I kept running and running. But I think I'm lost and going in circles. I ran past the ranger station, but it was totally deserted. I'm so scared. Is it still hunting me? It just wants me to suffer, to play with us. What will happen to me? It ripped Stu's head clean off, to his limbs. Is that what happened to Alex? I can't end this way. Yeah man, I gotta- The thing is, why didn't they hold up in the ranger station? That would have been, at least, more defensible, no? Oh shit, are we Danny? Oh, to be fair, we- Nobody's here. Where did the park rangers go? Um, welcome Night Rangers. For the first time in over 40 years, Queenlock Park is now officially open at night. And you're here to make sure that it stays open and to protect its visitors too, of course. Back in 48, the park started to close at night following safety concerns regarding the maulings of four hikers over the course of a year. All of these incidents occurred in the middle of the night, and in order to avoid lawsuits, the park uh, would now close at dusk and any rule violators were arrested and permanently banned. Luckily, due to the lack of incidents since, and an increase in budget, which allowed us to hire you, the park is now open all night. While you might feel inexperienced in your new job, don't worry, training will be provided uh, in the coming weeks, but until then, just use common sense, you'll do it great. Mm, common sense can occasionally get you killed.
heard cries for help off the, in the distance, and my partner hasn't showed up yet. I have no clue what to do since. I haven't even had this job for a night yet. I guess I'll go look for who's crying. But I'm definitely not made for this. Is the key gonna break too? Oh, I just love how every section you move through. It gets more atmospheric. I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die, I don't... Wanna die, I don't... Jesus, that's dark. Yeah, I just like the atmospheric escalate. Can I push this? I cannot. Yeah, I just like the atmospheric escalation. Going from dusk to dark to dark and raining. It's actually a really nice touch. But we are 100% gonna die. Oh my, there... I think I'm gonna be sick. I don't understand. Who would do this? Something is very... Well, I need to get back to my car right now. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be making it back. Motherfucker, I'm already running. hear anything chasing me, but I do kind of wonder if I'm gonna see something. I am kind of glad I did a small amount of exploration beforehand, seeing as as soon as I get past the last game, I should be in the clear. Oh! Oh fuck, what is that? Holy shit, it's catching up real fucking quick. Okay, there's a campsite. Oh fuck, I don't... Okay, I can take a shortcut, kinda. Oh, I did it! Fuck yeah! Okay, that was actually pretty good. I have no fucking clue what that was. I kind of want to know what happens if I die, though. Yeah, no, that was actually a really... For a short horror-esque experience, that was actually really nice. I will say, though, I'm almost disappointed that it wasn't a little longer with the creeping sense of horror um, building up a little bit more. Oh, coroner's report. Daniel Benson, deceased, cause of death, impaled by broken lantern, suspension. Additional notes, found dismembered by search party member Barry Lakewell, attacker unknown. Alex Baker, unknown, cause of death, unknown. Additional notes, body parts found near the other bodies, luckily dead body were, luckily dead were as well, but we don't know for sure. 
Oh, likely dead, not likely. Um, stew, deceased, cause of death, decapitation. Uh, found impaled on a tree by search party member Barry Lakewood. Attacker, also unknown. Mason Wakefield, deceased, cause of death, broken skull as a result of a hatchet attack. Seemed to be the last of the group to die based on time of death. Found by Barry Lakewood, attack unknown. Greg Bennett, um, slash Alan Haverford, unknown. Unknown death. Park Rangers on duty during incident, whereabouts unknown. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go... Okay, this is gonna sound bad, but... I'm gonna go and get myself... Into a position where I can get killed quickly, so... I will see you in a minute. Because I want to see and show off what the death scene is like. So, I will see you then. Hey, so I'm back. We are on our way to... Being murdered. You know, usual part of the course. See what happens if we run into the widow. Oh, I also got freaked out by my own footsteps earlier. So, that's fun. Um, but yeah. No, that was just, uh, there was a slight delay between all of the odd uh, sounds for some reason. I don't know if it's just the way I was just hearing things. But essentially, um, that caused me to actually stop and look. Oh, weird. Look at that thing. Oh, and it just reloads us at the uh, last checkpoint. I guess that's fair. Still, super weird. It, it just looks weird, doesn't it? Almost like, um... The closest comparison I could even think of is maybe... The thing? But it also like repeats what it's heard before. So I don't know, that's kind of neat in and of itself. Ooh, fuck. Alright, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, really cool game. And just to hear this music again, 110% worth it. It's actually super good. At least, me personally, I like it. But, um, yeah. It's kind of a little bit weird. It's a very simple game, but I can't find myself hating it. It does exactly what it promises. Gives you a short, slightly atmospheric horror game with a little bit of story, a little bit of lore. I think it does everything really well. The only thing I would want more from this and I get it, it's not really the point, but the only thing I would really want more from this is, I guess, what is this, about 15-ish minutes? So, I guess, extend it out by like 5 minutes, and build up that tension a bit more. Um... Yeah, that's it. I just want more tension. Maybe an extra puzzle or something. 
Um, I like the lore. I like the story. I just want more of that tension. So when the monster actually appears, it puts me on even more edge, you know? Or something. Um, but no, other than that, like, this is a great game. Um, if I go check, basically, they don't have that many horror games. I think, actually, um, I think this is the only horror game they have. They have a few other games, but yeah, no, that's uh, actually kind of cool. I am excited to actually see what they do in the future. Uh, both horror and non-horror related, but you know, like, I want a proper uh, game for them, you know? Uh, uh, okay, that's kind of rude out of context. When I mean proper game, I don't mean this isn't a proper game. I'm just kind of wanting, like, a longer experience, you know? See what they can actually do given all of their skill, you know? That's it. Anyways, I'm gonna be leaving it here on good positive note. Hopefully. <laughs> so, thank you for tuning into The Frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon, signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares.